The alternator is a DC power engineering unit. It's 190 amp idle, 290 amp output over 2100 RPM. The alternator output cable, engine ground to frame, and power distribution wire has been all upgraded to four gauge battery cable. As you can see here, this is the stock vehicle wiring. This is the upgraded four gauge battery cable going directly to the battery from the alternator. I'm using a power shunt to measure the amperage draw on the battery inside the vehicle. And I'm also using Atma yellow top batteries. The left meter is voltage, the right meter is amperage. And you saw the shunt there on the battery. It gives me an accurate way to measure the amperage or the current coming off of the battery. So if we turn our key on here, we'll see the right meter spike just a tad. Testing. System ready. And then we'll start the vehicle. And there, it went up to 116 amps. That was the starter motor engaging. And that's how I monitor the uh, amperage and the voltage on the front end of the vehicle. I also installed these 175 amp connectors for the winch and the jumper cables. There's another 175 amp connector installed to the rear of the vehicle. I also can monitor the voltage here up front on the status center. So right now it's at 13.17. And that's the front battery. We're going to go now to the uh, rear battery as a uh, I do have a split system. The front and rear batteries are isolated. There's another battery in the rear of the vehicle. Optimal yellow top. And that's on a solenoid. So when the vehicle's not running, it's just on a front battery. And when the vehicle is started, then both batteries are connected. The battery solenoid isolator also can be controlled up front manually by this switch here. Right now it's on key position and we can switch it over to manual without the key and now both batteries are connected. I always keep it isolated. That's when the vehicle runs both batteries will be connected but when the vehicle shuts off they'll isolate the front and rear batteries. When the batteries are isolated I have a way to monitor the rear voltage battery by a voltmeter right here. And also got a Kushmal battery indicator out here on the rear quarter panel to let me know what the rear battery condition is. There's an onboard Power Max 100 amp power supply. This also serves as a battery charger. The land shore line for the battery charger power supply is here on the rear quarter panel. There's also a 12 volt to 120 volt 3000 watt power inverter. I have an outlet located back here. Another outlet located on the rear quarter panel. Another outlet located here in the rear center console and another outlet mounted on a front fender. So I started the truck up. This uh, power inverter requires uh, good amperage and voltage to operate and function correctly. Got our extension cord plugged into a good old Black & Decker circular saw here. This thing probably draws 11 amps and probably a good 15 to 20 on initial startup.
this will give you a good idea of what these power inverters really require uh, to run a power tool. Just watch the voltage and amp meter there. So that was drawing 60 amps off of the battery to make this circular saw run, which is a, uh, they claim to be an 11 amp saw. But the, the kicker is to start up with the saw with the motor startup. That's where you really need a bigger inverter to uh, run power tools.